And so we come to week 11 of Revolutionary Europe. There are only two weeks left, two more opportunities to pull out some amazing cards whilst talking about the history of Revolutionary Europe. But on this occasion, we are talking about Revolutionary Europe in a global context and thinking how the principles of the revolution spread out far across the world. Um, we're going to be doing mostly Vivid Voltage this week, but I just wanted to draw your attention. We do have a couple of packs of XY Evolutions, one of which we're going to be opening in the final session next week. The resale value on the cards from this pack are going out of the window at the moment. It is crazy, so really looking forward to that. Next week, we'll see what happens. But for this week, it is going to be Vivid Voltage. So we've got three packs here. We're going to start opening them straight away. And what we're going to be talking about in terms of the history side of things um, is this fella, um, Toussaint Louverture. And to talk about him, we have to go to Haiti. We're going to be fire energy. That seems appropriate as we continue the revolutionary narrative, but in a different context. So Haiti um, is one of those uh, wonderful extensions of the French Revolution, partially uh, a French colony. Always remembering the time of the Revolution, uh, Haiti is split in two. Half of it is run by um, France, half of it is run by Spain. Um, Louverture is one of a number of prominent revolutionary figures in the context of the Haitian Revolution. You know, um, we could talk about Jean-Jacques Dessalines, who of course follows um, Louverture after his um, capture. An abduction by the French. Um, we could talk about uh, François Macando, um, uh, a really uh, prominent religious figure who's actually burnt alive as part of his punishment uh, by the French state. Um, but we focus on Toussaint Louverture because he is a figure who, you know, once we've been talking about Napoleon, I should look at the cards at the same time. I'm getting distracted by the history once more. Um, I'm probably going to miss something. Um, Toussaint Louverture, whilst we've been talking about Napoleon, is really important because there's a really similar sort of cult of personality that develops um, around Toussaint, uh, both in life and after um, his death as well. Really a, quite a symbolic uh, figure, Cottony coming up. Um, he will become associated with the leadership of the Haitian Revolution. Um, and the revolution, in terms of where it comes from, why it comes about, is really linking back to what we talked about, about that movement of ideas and people that we saw in a European context as well. Focus in, please. There we go. No, it's stuck. Oh, God, the card's stuck. Oh! <laughs> That's three! That's three! We had Zassian. We had... Um, what do we have? What do we have? Um, Jirachi! We had Jirachi and we missed Jirachi. And now... Uh, Beedrill. Who cares? Who cares about Beedrill? We've got amazing rare Celebi. Oh, and look at you. So this card, second hand market, going for about 20 quid at the moment, uh, ungraded. Ah, look at that. I mean, it's... Look at those corners. The corners are beautiful. The card's beautiful. The corners are beautiful. Everything about that is beautiful. That is, that's epic, guys. Um, okay, we haven't really got a qualification in terms of amazing rare cards, but bonus reading. You'll have a bonus reading for that. You're not having a performance. It's not. It's not that good, but it's a very nice card. Ah, oh. I just spend the rest of the rest of this video looking at looking at amazing rare Celebi. But we should move on. We should move. That's ah. Oh, that needs a sleeve, actually. Sleeve, 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 sleeve. Bear with me, guys. Needs a sleeve. I'm closer to the camera than normal. Okay, okay. So I will get back to Tucson Literature. What were we talking about? Um, the spread of revolutionary ideas in a European context. There we go. Celebi. Nicely in its sleeve. Okay, cool. Very good. Um, so you remember we talked about um how revolutionary ideas spread across Europe, partially courtesy of Napoleon, the Revolutionary Wars, the Napoleonic Wars. Um, similar sort of thing playing out um, in Haiti. Of course, Haiti, as partially a French colony, um, is subject to French law. And, of course, one of the other things that happens in France, is, sorry, in Haiti, is France abolishes uh, the slave trade. Um, but, of course, a lot of the historical tensions um, that you have 
Ian Haiti, uh, link back to the inequalities stimulated by the slave trade, um, the plantation ownership system. It's a very similar narrative um, elsewhere. France is uh, as um, engaged, beauty card, engaged in the process uh, as much as anyone else at this point in time. Um, but of course, France does abolish. Um, we talked about Maximilian uh, Robespierre, uh, a prominent uh, uh, supporter of the abolition of slavery. Um, Beldum. I'm getting tense now. I mean, that's probably going to be the best card we're going to get. But anyway, um, so those revolutionary ideas are coming over. Toussaint Louverture, ultimately a free man, um, uh, will join the Jacobin Club. I mean, he, that, 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 that's how he'll see himself. He'll see him as a free Jacobin uh, Frenchman. Um, and by exposure to those ideas, uh, Toussaint and others um, in a Haitian context, Maitiena, blurry Maitiena, sorry, I'm probably a little bit too close, um, start aspiring to greater things. They're being introduced the ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity. And say, so they want that and they pursue that. But of course, the French state is bulking a little bit. Oh, it's Oshawa! No, it's Samurai, Samurai, Samurai. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we did some Oshawats earlier today. Samurot, not had Samurot before, not an amazing card, but we haven't had it before. Um, oh, that was the last one. That <laughs> Wait, hold on. We're missing a card here somewhere. Oh, there was a Mighty Enna. Ah, lazy. That's what I thought. We had Mighty Enna twice in that card. Lazy, lazy Pokemon packages. Um, okay. That, that Celebi's thrown my focus all out of whack. Um, where was I? Haiti, revolutions. It's all good. It's all good. It's all exciting. We're all having fun. Um, last pack. So, revolutionary ideas being shared in a Haitian context. Um, France, balking back in it. Napoleon saw Haiti as something that could be exploited. Um, we know that Napoleon's relationship with North America is a, bit, a little bit on and off, um, changes his mind a little bit um, as to what he wants there, but he does see it as a way in which you could springboard an invasion. And so there's a bit of a pushback in terms of the freedoms and liberties being afforded to those in a Haitian context. And there's pushback uh, from those in Haiti themselves, led by Toussaint Louverture. One of the striking things that comes after the initial stage of the, of the revolution in Haiti is the creation of a new codified legal system which so closely follows the Napoleonic Code and it puts so much power in the hands of Louverture that he is almost filling a, a, an emperor role uh, at that point in time. Um, sorry, we're going all sorts of in and out of focus. We've got to stop moving. Um, Trubish. Um, so there are lots of parallels to be drawn in... Ah, oh, hello, Clefable. We haven't had a Clef Clefable before, just one for the Master Collection, so that's good. Um, and that, where, where are all... The, was the Trubbish the, the shiny? The Trubbish was the shiny. <laughs> okay, well, the Clefable was good. Should we do one more, guys? You know what? I mean, I mean, that one pack was great, but let's see if we can finish. We'll do a very quick one just to finish. Um, but yeah, um, so parallels in terms of the constitution that's created, parallels in terms of the sort of the cult of personality that develops. I mean, really, Haiti uses the revolution in France as sort of a springboard um, for its own push towards independence. Um, but it's doing it in the context of France sort of balking at those principles being shared to Haiti itself, which I think is really interesting. Let's blitz through these Galvantula. Ah, Go Goat. My favourite. Wind on Stadium, Cottony, Happy Rolling in the Mud, Mudbray, Slugma, Tearful Whismer, Angry Execute, Metagross, nice, haven't had Metagross before, and, and Garbador. Okay. So that was as good as it was going to get. But, oh, what's going to be in the last few packs? That's pretty good. We're happy with that. I found that very distracting. My apologies. So, I mean, yeah, Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Haiti. And it's, 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 it's a fascinating case study. Some brilliant political evolutions. Brilliant transformation of the political landscape. And just be aware, what happens in Haiti serves as a bit of a, um, a sort of a... Um, 
uh, a cascade effect in terms of revolutionary sentiment spreading out from there into Central and Southern America as well. So really, things really start expanding dramatically. So it's a brilliant case study to go with a brilliant card. Okay, guys, you'll be getting this on Friday a little bit early because I know I've changed my schedule a little bit. Um, so you guys have yourselves a great weekend. I'm going to, probably going to spend most of the weekend looking at this card and, and musing as to how much it might be worth 20 years from now, hoping card prices appreciate rather than crash. We'll see. Have a great weekend, guys. See you next week.